हेलो 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 हाई गाइज गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू न्यू वीडियो प्रॉब्लम मिनिमम नंबर ऑफ ऑपरेशन टू मेक एनी जोर इक्वल टू जीरो एज सुन एज यू हियर द वर्ड जोर यू शुड बी एबल टू रिमेंबर दैट वन जोर वन इज एक्चुअली जीरो जीरो जोर जीरो इज ऑल्सो जीरो वन जोर जीरो इज अ वन जीरो जोर वन इज अ वन आई हैव नॉट इवन रेड द क्वेश्चन इट सेल्फ बट बिफोर इवन रीडिंग द क्वेश्चन आई शुड बी नोइंग दिस कंसेप्ट ऑफ जोर फॉर श्योर एंड ऑल्सो पहले इट इज ग्रेट टू नो दैट ओके ए जोर ए is a zero and zero or a is a a this is the same thing just writing it in a different form but also remember these conditions for a zor as soon as you hear a word zor itself now let's read the question the question says that we are given a zero ness integer array called as nums so i have an array nums and i have a positive integer k i have these two things with me now you can apply the following operations on the array any number of times i can apply the operation operation what operation operation is that choose any element of the array let's say i have the element let's say i have five elements in the array i can choose any element of the array okay i have i have got the element and i can flip a bit in its binary representation i can convert this number to a binary form i can convert this number to a binary form that number sir so i convert that number to a binary form binary means zeros and ones i convert that number to a binary form and then i can flip flip means converting a bit zero to a one or converting a bit one to a zero i can flip that bit itself and flipping bit okay just changing the bit from zero to one or one to zero i can do this operation so this is counted as one operation i have to return the minimum number of operation okay one operation is choosing one number flipping one of the bits of that number i i want to do such operations as minimum as possible now minimum number of operations required to make the bitwise or of all the elements finally equal to k so if i just try to visualize this entire example i want okay i can just represent all the elements again it's a question of zor so convert all the numbers to their binary representation to start thinking of how i can achieve this i have a number 3 so i have a number 1 i have a number 2 i have a number 3 i have a number 4 i want to do a bitwise zor of all these numbers and the result which i should get is or should be a 1 1 k it should be a k right k is a 1 okay it's a 0 0 0 if i write a 2 in the binary form it will be a Zero, one, zero, zero. As one will be a zero, zero, one. A three will be a zero, zero, one, one. A four will be a one, zero, zero, zero. That will be now. Now, now comes that. Forget the example. If I just ask you, you have to form. You have to get a one here. Again, k is a binary form. So here it can either be a zero or a one. In a k for a specific bit for a specific for a specific location, I can either have a zero or a one. That's the case, right? Now, if I ask you to bro to achieve a one, and again, if we go back and look at the constraints itself, it is saying that okay, I have some number, I have some number with me. So no worries on that part. I ha I will have some number with me for sure. Now, um, if I have to make a one, and let's say which means I have to make a one. Right now, the one is not there. And how come one will not there? There can be two options, right? One is not there, which means I will have these two conditions. Let's copy this entire thing up, and I will just write the same stuff down here. So now I am saying now again one cases one cases if I just do the zor operation of all the bits at that specific location and it matches with my bit one, then there is no there is no worry for me to change that bit. to change any of these bits right because my one operation one operation is one operation is these are let's say four numbers one operation for me is choosing choosing a number and then choosing a bit for that number as you can see there were four these bits there were these bits there were these bits so in one operation i'll choose a number i'll choose its bits and then i can replace that bit now i am saying simple zor operation i can just Individually say okay. Zor operation for this specific bit, I can just do the zor of all these bits, and then I can achieve this as a as a operation, right? Now by default, if the zor itself is matching, which means let's say if I had one here, so for sure the zor itself for all this 
bits at the zeroth index at the zeroth index or the zeroth location it is matching itself so there is no requirement of any operation at all because i want the operation to be as minimum as possible so no operation required at all but we are imagining the worst case what if what if the number forming above the zor of the above numbers are not forming a one now what can be the cases that it will not form a one it can only be that it is forming a zero which means if, it's a, if it is not forming a one which means it is forming a zero now if it is forming a zero then i would have either the either i i would have the pairs of zeros or i will have a pairs of ones i will have any, anything like that which means if i am forming a zero so i would have which means i am saying okay i am not forming a one by default i want to form a one but by default these numbers by default these numbers n numbers are forming a let's say zero at that zero bit location so my ultimate aim is to transform this zero to a one and how this zero can be formed this zero can be formed when i have my numbers in pair either my ones are in pair or my zeros are in pair or basically any one of them are in pair but they are in the even number count now to get a one here the simplest the most simplest thing which i can do is make any reverse any of the bit i can just make this one as a zero then my i as i spoke my numbers are in the even number count my numbers are in the even number count right my numbers are in the even number count which means my one are in the even number count and my zeros are in the even number count so if i just replace any of the bit it will become a zero so my one will become an odd number count and zero will become an odd number count with this odd number count what will happen you will start getting a one because one will have no pair so it will become a condition like this so with this we got to know one fact okay what we can do is we know to form a zero to form a zero numbers or bits needs to be in the even pair if i can replace any bit then it will start forming a one if I can replace any bit, then we start forming a one, and that is the case. If I replace the bit, it will, it will start forming a one. So what I can do is I don't I don't want to touch many numbers again. If I want to form a one here, one way was I replace a zero. Other way was okay. I can replace this one also. This one also. Then also it will form a one. But you saw one operation was more than sufficient to change this bit to a one. So for every of these locations, for zeroth index, first index, second index, third index, I just need to check, okay, if it is matching, if it is matching, no worries, skip, move on to the next index. If it is not matching, I just need one operation. I'll just change one bit, any bit, any bit whatsoever. I'll just change that one bit and I'll get the answer. I can just reverse it. But yeah, what if it is actually like it is already a one and I want to do a zero? No worries, same way. It is a one, which means numbers, which means bits one and zeros are, 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 are occurring in the odd pairs, like odd number of times. So if I replace any one of them, if I replace this to a one, it will start forming a zero. So again, just, just modifying one bit for the specific location. Like I know, okay, at the zeroth index, first next when I say indexes, I will represent all the numbers in the form of the binary form. It is the zeroth index. It is the first, index, it is the second, it is the third, so on and so forth. We can go. And with this, we will be able to see that, okay, if I get the ZOR of all the numbers at that zeroth index, again, ZOR of all the, num all the bits at that zeroth index, if that ZOR is matching with my kth zeroth bit, okay, no worries, move on to the next bit. But if it's not matching, then I will need only one operation. So that is the only thing which I will do. As you can see, here it is a, here you will see, ZOR is a simple zero. Zero, zero, one, one, it's a zero. So I would need to modify. I will just, okay, no, okay. One operation, one operation will be required here. Okay, here I will show, okay, ZOR is zero. As you can see, ZOR is zero. For one, zero, one, zero, ZOR is zero. Okay, and obtain also zero. Okay, no operation required here. Move on next. Here the ZOR operation is one. Oh, one operation required to convert to a zero. Okay, one operation required. Move on next. Bhaiya, here it is zero, obtain is zero, okay, no operation required, simply move on. Now, bhaiya, how much I will have to move on, which means I will have to move on to all the bits. As you can see that my nums of i is 1e6, 1e6, you can just simply say it is less than 2 raised to power 20. So, I will have at max 20 bits. So, this, this thing will at max go for 20 times, at max go for 20 times and that is the only thing which I wanted, it will go for at max 20 times i have these n numbers and for every number i will have 20 bits so my complexity will actually be n into 20 which is 
2 into 1 is 6 because n is 1 e 5 and that will be time complexity for your solution and this is the only thing which you have to do so we'll go into the code it's very simple that firstly i know that i have to go on to all the bits starting from the 0th bit up till the 20th bit i will simply keep on going 0th, 0th bit is this bit 0th bit 0th bit i'll get this all 0th bit i'll get this 0th bit this 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 and i'll zor them up and i will match if it is matching with the 0th bit of my k so what i'll do i will find the zor value of the specific 0th of, of for the specific bit right now i'm just saying it is a 0th bit i will find its zor value and i'll just simply say okay go on to all of my numbers for this specific bit now how to get the specific bit we have seen already we can make a mask now how to make a mask if let's say i say if let's say i say 101 0 now i want to grab this bit i want to grab this bit itself only this bit i, I want to grab so i can make a mask of 1 0 0 0 like this 0 0 0 0 or our zeros if i do an and operation now so I will get the values. If this is a 1, I'll get a 1 here. If this is a 0, I'll get a 0 here. So this is how a mask will be made and the rest of the values will for sure be a 0. Will for sure be a 0. So with this, I can make a mask. I can make a mask saying 1 left shift my bit value. This is the mask. I'll do an AND operation to get the final value. Okay. To know if that bit is a 1 or a 0, I'll get the values. And then I can simply keep on zoring it. This is the mask. I do an AND operation to get the exact value at that location. Now I have the actual value, which is saying, okay, what is the value at that bit location? Now this is the bit value. I'll keep on zoring it for all of my elements in my nums. Now when I have got this, okay, my zor values for this entire bit, my zor value for the entire bit, this is ready with me. Now I will just compare with the zor value at, so I, I just compare the value at this bit value for k. So I'll just go and say, okay, my zor value for all the nums are there. Now I'll just say the same mask I will made for k also to get the k bit value. If this is not matching, if this is not matching, for sure I have to increase my answer because I will have to use one operation, change one bit, any bit changes one bit. And that's how you can simply get your answer. And that's how you can simply return it in O of n into 20 times. Right? Cool. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.